I just kind of meander my way through things and I'm more of a dreamer than a, a goal setter. This is an amazing life that I've got. I value it. I try to protect it. Winning my first title in the Bahamas, it was super cool. You know, I was 13 years old, traveling alone, without my parents, nobody with me, to the Bahamas. But it was awesome. It was an amazing experience in itself, being there. There were like 400 competitors. I was like the only little kid there. I was mostly, honestly, focused on my riding, not on the equipment, not on innovating the sport, taking it to the next level, but just focused on competition. My process of trying to evolve things and moving into kiting and stand-up and thinking out of the box kind of came afterwards when I was slowing down from competition. The whole world has changed since I started uh, doing what I do. Everything is right there on the internet. Like, there's no more mystery. We used to get on a plane, fly somewhere, and cross our fingers that we were going to find wind and waves, but have no idea what we were going to get. There's certainly a lot more information and, and opportunity. The world's a tiny place now compared to what it used to be. People ask me what The Longest Wave is about. It started out as kind of a historical documentary about my life and where I'm headed. Now it's a movie about time and getting older and how we deal with time as we age. It's Joe Berlinger's film, and I'm the protagonist in it. We definitely got something unexpected through the making of this film. It's really personal, it's really honest. It's certainly not what most people would expect from a sports documentary. Mm -hmm.